The 12 days of OpenAI aka Sheepmess is over and the announcements ended up being kinda divisive. It started to look like Google, who once was laughed at in the AI scene, was about to steal the show. On the 10th day, they showed off a rotary throne you could use to call ChatGPT. I was hoping it was a clever teaser for their rumored operator AI agent system expected in January. We didn't get an operator, but we got the O3 model, their flagship for 2024. Some people got excited, wondering if this was already AGI and there was a tiny bit of drama about whether they cheated. I'll cover this at the end of the video, but first let's rewind a bit. In 2015, four then good friends Elon Musk, Greg Brockman, Ilya Satskever and Sam Altman gathered for a meeting. They funded OpenAI to create a friendly AGI. All four agreed that the scaling hypothesis could lead them to machine intelligence. The scaling hypothesis is basically the idea that if you keep making AI models bigger and feed them more data, they'll just keep getting smarter and better. In 2020, OpenAI published a paper titled Scaling Laws for Neural Language Models. For a while, the results backed this up and it wasn't clear where this progress would stop. This for a while held true until 2024 when Google, Anthropic and OpenAI all hit walls. When they tried to train their models, it didn't deliver as much better performance as they had expected. At this point, OpenAI came up with a test time compute solution, which basically means it takes more time to think through its response. It can try to choose the best response from several options using a verifier. The first model of this kind was O1 and now its improved version is O3. The O3 model showed huge improvements across benchmarks. When testing on real-world programming tests, the O3 model delivered a stunning 20% performance boost over its predecessor, the O1. Competitive programming saw an even more remarkable leap of 40%, while mathematical problem solving showed a steady 10% improvement. The real breakthrough came with research-level math problems. Previous systems barely scraped a maximum of 2%, but O3 achieved an impressive 25%. What truly stood out was its performance on the ARC AGI benchmark, which is a test designed to improve generalization and tackle unseen tasks. The AGI definition of the ARC prize is not the usual idea of automating most economically valuable jobs. The ARC prize defines AGI as a system capable of efficiently learning new skills beyond its training data. The ARC prize, a competition for a casual $1 million, calls for an open source solution to the ARC AGI benchmark. Let me highlight open source here, a key requirement that excludes OpenAI's O3 from the race. Additionally, O3's impressive results were measured on the ARC AGI pub, which is separate from the ARC prize competition and doesn't offer any prizes. The ARC AGI tasks, simple for humans yet notoriously difficult for AI, have long been a benchmark of progress. Frontier models needed 5 years to inch from 0% to just 5% on this challenge, then came O3 with an astounding 75.7 at low compute settings and an even higher 87.5 at peak performance, suppressing the human benchmark of 85%. The nearest competitor lagged behind at a 50%. Some people, seeing the results of the ARC prize, got excited and thought AGI had arrived. Well, I don't think it, this is AGI yet. The first reason I think so is that it's a benchmark containing tasks that humans can easily perform. For example, just because someone can decline a team's goal doesn't mean it can outperform humans in all economically valuable tasks. Nor does it mean that it can generalize. Even one of the founders of the ARC Prize said they don't believe O3 qualifies as AGI yet because it fails at some tasks that humans can easily perform. There was some controversy over how OpenAI allegedly cheated on the ARC benchmark by using 75% of the public training data for training. I don't think there was any cheating as the whole point of this data is that it's meant to be used for training. As one of the biggest OGs in AI, Andrew Eng teaches, Typically, the dataset used for developing an AI model is divided to three parts. The training set is used to teach the model. After training on a training set, models are evaluated on the validation set to compare different configurations. The test set serves as an unbiased evaluation of the final model's performance. It should only be used once all tuning and training are complete, providing a measure of how well the model is expected to perform on new, unseen data. 
For example, if a teacher says you can use a ruler during an exam, using a ruler wouldn't count as cheating. Yo, it's the ship mess. Open A's on a spree, rotary phones with chat GPT. That's OG, O3 drops, benchmarks through the roof. Program and flex, 40% improvement, that's the proof. Math game strong from 2 to 25. AR Gaji's where the O3 thrives. But open source, they won't claim the prize. Chasing AGI, 